It's week six of the National Football League, and today's clash of conferences is just moments away. It's the Saints and the reigning AFC champs next on Madden NFL 22. It's a picturesque afternoon for football in the Northeast, and EA Sports comes to you from MetLife Stadium just across the Hudson River from New York City. A few minutes ago, the hometown Jets were introduced to this sellout crowd, and it's a roar that can be heard across the river in Manhattan. They're set to go as their Jets will match up with the New Orleans Saints. Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you look at this Jets ball club. They were winners last time out, so they'll be looking, Charles, to make it two in a row. And what I enjoyed when I watched their game tape and their victory last week is they put it together in every phase. Good offense, good defense, and some key plays on special teams. Let's see if they can get that second win in a row. Meanwhile, for the visiting Saints, we're in October now, so everything, everybody should be coming into form, shouldn't they? They really should, and what you have now is a full routine established about what you want to get done and full focus on the season. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. They'll run. This is Jonathan Taylor. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. These are his numbers from last week's contest. Charles, how do you think he ran the football? I thought he definitely had his moments. I did think that they could have utilized him a little bit better, and I'm definitely going to keep an eye on him to see how they're going to use him this week. To throw on second down, Cobb completes it to Davis. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. They'll wind up losing three here on the play, and that's going to lead to a third and 12. Looking to throw. Cobb. They'll set up the screen to Taylor. And he will lose yardage on the play. Back at his own 19-yard line. So that'll go as a four-yard loss on the play. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. On is the punter man as he boots this one away. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And a glance here at their quarterback standing six foot three. Okay, I thought there was something to build on in last week's game by his... And we drop you into the start of this next possession. The score, seven nothing. A carry by Taylor to start the drive. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy is nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. They're going deep for Hill. That's caught inside the 20. And he'll be down deep into New Orleans territory. Big yardage that time for the Jets. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. To the right side, this is Taylor. And he's going to take it in for a Jets touchdown. Jonathan Taylor, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Jets are an extra point away from tying this thing up. A solid blocking up front from the guys on the offensive line allowed him to get in for the touchdown. Yes, sir. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. Now they have the game here followed by the open date on their calendar next weekend. And 
Charles, this is a crew that you have to think really is relishing the opportunity to be on the couch for a few days. Yeah, they certainly are, but let's face it, partner. They can't get caught looking ahead to that couch time while they're playing this one. They've got to take care of business first. Off play action, Cobb. They're going deep for Hill. And that will fall incomplete. Oh, they took a shot there on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. These two teams all tied after one. On third down, here's Taylor. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. He lost two, and it brings up fourth. Here's Braden Mann now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. A 41-yard punt there with no return, and possession will switch. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before and realize it hasn't worked so well. Else. And maybe try and find one of those special plays for one of your better players and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. Off the play fake, Cobb. And going deep for Hill. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked up by Xavier Howard. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And bringing it in, it's Davis. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Brandon, so many times we see the crossing route start as a quick hitter, but in this play, he had time in the pocket and waited for him to clear going across. On first and 10, Cobb. That would almost intercept it, but it's incomplete. Not a good throw there, and it'll be second down. But nearly another interception there. That would have been two drives in a row with a pick. He's got to start taking care of the ball way better than what we're seeing. Interestingly, that throw was probably worse than the one he threw the interception on last drive, but fell incomplete. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And, oh, it's incomplete. Oh, that would have been six points, but somehow he couldn't rein it in. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far, but on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. So now third and ten, a big play to start the drive, but nothing since. Back to throw again. And a big loss here as he's taken down. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. Here's the Jets punter now as he's on to kick it away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. A 40-yard punt, give him three on the return. As they take over. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And with him trailing, there is still enough time to try to string a few plays together, maybe get into field goal range. On first down, Cobb. And going deep for Hill. And that's caught inside the 35. And all the way down to the 29. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. So that changes things in a big way. Now from all the way down inside the 30, here's first and 10.
And a dangerous throw there, incomplete. He threw that into coverage. It was nearly intercepted. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. And he'll get this into the hands of Hill, complete. The Jets going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they stop it with 19 seconds to go in half number one. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And that is pulled in by Herndon for a Jets touchdown. Chris Herndon as the first half is winding down. And the Jets can take the lead now with an extra point. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the table and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. He pushes through a would-be tackler to get about three yards, second down. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme, and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front, defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try. Got a man. It's caught. Touchdown, Jets. Terry Kill. His sixth touchdown of the season. And the Jets find a way to stretch their lead. Well, he's been doing this for a lot of years with the arm strength still there, and he showed it off on that one. And I'm telling you, nothing will light up a crowd more than a play like that. Here in the stadium, all eyes were on the receivers streaking downfield, and you know everyone was thinking, throw it, he's open. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. And going deep for Hill. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And all the way in. Touchdown, New York. Tyreek Hill. Touchdown. And the Jets are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. But sometimes you just got to marvel at how these guys can throw the football. He gave that everything he had, and it was right on the money. Yeah, I'm really not sure what was more impressive about that throw. Was it the distance travel or the accuracy involved? Because I'm going to tell you straight up. Third quarter action, and this offense will have a first and ten as they get set for the next drive. They'll run with Taylor to begin the drive. And shedding through the tackle. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. They go to the ground again with Taylor. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. Taylor's got the first down and more. And down to the 27-yard line. 63 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Open man is Hill. He's got it. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. Well, this is a defense that's definitely on their heels now because they gave up the running play for good yardage one play ago. 
Now the pass here sets this offense up first and goal. They're going to have to dig in strong now. And he's in. Touchdown, Jets. Jonathan Taylor with his second touchdown of the game, number seven on the year. And the Jets get another third quarter touchdown to add on to that lead. And he certainly played a pivotal role. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. Now there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away. Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your team there. Play keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. They run with Taylor. And he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. Saw it through three quarters. No reason to lighten up now. Now a pass that's taken in by Hill. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Partner, I like that they're staying aggressive on offense because to me, this drive is what is known as a putaway drive. You score here, that might put this one to bed. I like the fact that they're playing with confidence and not playing with fear. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and ten. Off the bootleg, Cobb. And this one's incomplete. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. On second down, it's Taylor. Stops short of the 25. The second effort couldn't free him. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. They run once more with Taylor. And he'll get this to the 23, but that'll be well short of what he needed. It'll be a gain of four, but it won't be enough. It leaves him with a fourth down now. Oh, it's no good. Carlson pushed it to the right. And this score will stay right where it is. Now this one. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. A run there on first down and a pretty good one of five yards, so make it second and five. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Again, it's Taylor. And he'll get it down here to the 43. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. Now the Saints will use their third and final timeout as they'll get it with just under 90 seconds remaining. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. And they take a knee. Second and 11 now. A give for Taylor running right side. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. The Jets with victory seemingly in hand, they take a knee. 
Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? <laughs> and the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with them. Defensively, stuff that they can look at on film, don't you think? No doubt about it. And they've got to go back and check where the errors are, how they're going to fix them, and continue to get better at what they do. But they also need a little adjustment with their confidence. To give up that many points, even if you win a game, that can hurt you. So for the Jets, their strong start to the year continues as they're up to 5-1. And, and they'll be able to enjoy this one through the bye week before they get back at it again. Meanwhile, for the Saints, the loss here will move them back to 500 at 3-3. Three and three. And now they'll head to the bye week as they'll be back in action in Week 8. I was talking with my crew before the show. By the way, best production team in the biz, or at least that's what they tell me to say. Anyway, I think it's worth discussing on air for this podcast, the new Nike commercial they debuted last night. It, it was not good. It was amazing. You get all these dramatic shots with NFL stars like Lamar Jackson and Russell Wilson. But get this, the final shot... They reserve it for the rookie QB from New York as he puts on his Jets helmet and just stares a hole through the camera. I'm talking a serious mean mug. I mean, look at this. I'm getting goosebumps just thinking about it. Of course, some people just can't enjoy a good thing. They're saying it's too much, too soon, blah, blah, blah. But look, that, that's the get off my lawn crap.